just okay this house is cool and that's us we look like an explorer for the amazon rainforest in the year 1820 oh this is cool i'm loving this so far welcome to the mount holly house store granted four days to discover experiment and explore before your official bequest begins so we got we get four days to what if we just <laughs> what if we just leave real quick wait actually you can just ditch yeah yeah you have a few days to explore the house <laughs> and i actively <laughs> choose not to explore it whoops i have a feeling this is actively not what i'm supposed to be doing but it's <laughs> There's a camp? Why is there a camp out here? <laughs> Wait, this is another... I used another step. Oh, jeez. Can we just... Heal? The campsite! Due to the rule set forth in Great Uncle's Will, you're not allowed to stay in the estate overnight. Luckily, however, your scouting skills have been put to good use to fabricate a very respectable off-site sleeping quarters. Wait, this is we're just this is our base of operations. You can call it a day in the blueprint menu. You can access after picking up the blueprint in the entrance hall. <laughs> you can do this after doing something you were supposed to do in the beginning of the game. That's pretty neat. Me num 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 no. These pads go. <laughs> what am I doing? We have an orchard. We need a code. Didn't work. We can't just jump over the fence. <laughs> and now we're back inside the house. Having consumed six of our steps. We're getting our steps in. Oh, we get we get our blueprints. Yes. Mount Holly blueprints. Ooh. Oh, we get we get placeholder art for the antechamber. <laughs> oh, we get a little little map of of the whole estate. Okay. Time to just explore this house. Oh man, this is so cool. Ooh, the ace of spades. Here's the thing. Searching the state can be exhausting, oh, like real life. Each time you enter a room, you will lose one footstep. When you no longer have any footsteps, you will be too tired to continue searching, and you must call it a day. Okay, we already consumed six of our footsteps by just checking the outside, which contained nothing. Um, we'll just... I guess we want to get to the antechamber? Wait, how many... It's... it's... Five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five by nine. So it's 45 rooms. Oh, and he said to find the 46th room of the 45 room estate. So presumably that's the room beyond the antechamber. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be... How does this work? Select like a room to draft. Oh, gosh. Uh... So when you want to go to a new room, we have to just choose which room you get. Okay, so the closet gives us items, but it's a dead end. I feel like dead ends are bad. The hallway gives us more options. And then the bedroom. Whenever you enter this room, gain footsteps. I mean, that's, that's cool. Oh, we'll take the hallway because it gives us more branches oh gosh now do we do okay as a computer scientist do we do depth first search or breadth first search <laughs> do we just unlock all the doors first and then decide which way to go or do we just go yeah we'll just we'll just yeet i don't know how much we need to like check things out to crowbar who has a picture of a crowbar in their house what was my grandpa up to? Nook. We 
get we get a Tom Nook. We get a key or bedroom or guest bedroom, which gives us plus ten steps. But it's a it's a dead end. We want a dead end. Oh, this is there's so much. This is so cool. We'll take it. We'll take a key in case we need to unlock something. Oh, this is so. Man, can I just have this house in real life? We got a key and books and chairs and books and cats. What's this? Uh, journey noteworthy. As you continue on your adventure, you may want to consider getting something to write down notes. A pad, scrap of paper, or perhaps most fittingly, a journal will prove to be an invaluable tool you will not regret having beside you on your journey. Game's actually saying, hey, you know, you could go <laughs> write things down IRL. We're not going to provide you with an in-game note system. And there's a rook. This guy's chest pilled. Okay. Uh, we'll go here. Chapel. When you first enter the chapel, lose money. Parlor gets a puzzle piece. Order was always left unlocked. Wait. That text is scary. That text... That text implies that other places can be locked. <laughs> okay, so Chapel has more openings. But compared with Corridor, it would just open up to the same place where the hallway would go. Which I don't think we care about. Because we already have access to the hallway room. That's what Parlor does. So I, I, we just take Corridor. We take Corridor here. Easy. Gosh, still, we're gonna we're gonna figure out how much we're messing this place up. Ooh, what's this? Blueprints. E E. Wait, that's the room we're currently in. We're in E. Does that mean anything? Unless wait, unless it's this way. No, it's like this, right? Why? We're in E. What does E mean? E. Now, can we just break in through the window to <laughs> get access to other rooms? Exploring the house would be much easier if we just had a sledgehammer. A little plane. That's much better than a picture of a crowbar. We had a den, a storeroom, or a guest bedroom. I mean, den gives us better access, right? In case the hallway gives us a dead end or something. Well, we'll take den because it gives us gems. It gives us money. Money! We get an emerald. And a giant clock. Wait, it's actually... It's actually operating. Holy. But not... It's a little bit faster than real life. And a pawn. Okay, this is a fire hazard. You can't have your fireplace lit when there's nobody else in the house. Come on. What's this? Handle? Knocked over? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. Spare room. I mean, do we just want to rush the antechamber? Just go straight all the way there? We could go to the chapel. When you enter a chapel, lose money, but like, we don't have any money. Is that okay? Pantry. I, we don't want pantry, I don't think, because it just... We'll take chapel. We don't have money. <laughs> so does going in here have an issue? Okay, you don't need money to go in here, apparently. There's a bishop? Oh, that makes sense. Chef? Chef angel? Farmer angel? Jockey angel? Chimney sweep angel? What is this? Is this important? I don't know what's important. What all do we have to take notes on? Oh, this game so- I love this. <laughs> this is so insane. West Wing Hall. Commissary. Items for sale requ requires a gem. Wait, so... 
We use gems to buy rooms. I guess. Well, we'll take West Wing Hall, right? Because that's <laughs> gives us it's a straight path. Any more pictures of? Why do you? Have a... Dude, my grandpa has terrible artistic taste. Oh, requires a key. Does this require it? This one doesn't. Drawing room. You may draw new floor plans while drafting this room. Okay, so you can see like what, how it will lay out when you go here. Ah. We get, we could, we could go straight. Oh man, this is, this is a lot. There's a lot going on in this. Do we want a bedroom? Like we could use our key to go forward. How many doors are going to be locked? We could use the we have, we have so many we have so many pads we actually we might need footsteps i'll go in here i did waste six footsteps before doing anything what is this statue yeah we'll just check this uh, this needs a why <laughs> why do you need a key like, there's no point in using a key there, because you can just use the chapel to go there anyway, right? I don't know. I guess, I don't know. Because the more steps we waste, we'll use the key. We'll just keep going. The veranda! Greater chance of finding items in green rooms? <laughs> Requires two gems? We haven't even gotten a green room before? The parlor. Parlor has a puzzle piece. Storeroom kills us. Like, it's just a dead end, which ruins everything I've been going for. We take parlor, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> I love how these curtains don't go anywhere because the windows aren't on the outside of the house. Well, that's our, that's our grandpa. It's paper. Dear Herbert, it's a great honor receiving the invitation to dine at your estate with the Oldhams this past Thursday. I'm being frank been quite a while since we had been seen in decent society and we were beginning to worry that my wife's wit had lost its charm i have no delusions that my company is rival to hers on this score dude saying yeah my wife's kind of smart and i'm under no delusions that i'm also smart if i can refresh your memory we both spent much of that evening discussing our mutual love of games and puzzles and i had mentioned to you a rather singular parlor game i had played some years back involving three boxes of different colors you would press me to write about the particulars of this game when I found the time. I had included with this letter all the details you need to share with guests should he be inclined to play this confounding game. Mr. Lorag. There will always be at least one box which displays only true statements. Always be at least one box which displays only false statements. Only one box has a prize. The other two are empty. <laughs> Can we take... Key! Uh... So this box is the middle box. Well, what if I just picked you up and moved you? <laughs> this box is lying. The gems are in the middle box. Are you the middle look? Uh, this box is the middle box. <laughs> what type of first grade logic puzzle is this? Well, if you're lying and you're lying and one of you must be telling the truth, it's you. Gems! Okay, so parlor game gives you gems. Ooh. That's a little... There's so much cool stuff. Like, who cleans this place? Like, if you can't even access rooms regularly... Ah, oh, jeez. What's, what's in... Okay, no key needed. Dining room. Each day, a meal served um, in the dining room after rank 8 has been reached... Okay, spare room, drawing room. We may draw new floor plans with drafting in this room. I mean, oh, because the right side goes into the bedroom, which is a dead wall. So, I mean, dining room has, dining room's better than spare room, but.
but spare room. I don't know. We don't. I don't know when we get food. I don't know what rank eight means. I'll just go in here. Oh, this place is just being painted. One day this room will be used for something. Don't require a key. It's locked. This is why we need a hammer <laughs> to break down everything. Ah, geez. Well, and the bedroom has a locked door as well. Well, we have we have some gems. Okay, we're we have to go back. We have to go all the way back. Can't go through the bedroom because it has a locked path. I have to go through the chapel. Oh, we could go. Okay, is this one locked? It's locked. Okay, so this room, both access points are locked to it. Oh, that's annoying. I guess, is this one? <laughs> Better not be locked. The observatory in the boudoir. Okay, so they all, <laughs> they all have the same path of going to the right. Entry gives us money. Money. Boudoir does nothing. Is there a turn? Gain one. One star? The heck is a star? That feels like an insight token or something? Oh, no matter what, it's gonna loop back into whatever the hallway room is. We still have entrance hall. We have, we have, okay, well, we'll take, I wanna see what this is. Each time you've drafted an observatory, you can just... So the more observatory you get, the better the observatory is? Whoa! <laughs> Imagine having this in your house. Anything cool? Wait, wait. Spin? You can just spin? <laughs> of course you can spin it. It's like petting the dog. All these chess pieces? Oh, what's this? The Fixed Stars, the Stargazer's Companion to Constellations by Richard Witt. 1809 preface this book contains a complete star base a list of constellations and the absurd effects that accompany the appearance of each one depending on the number of stars that can be seen in the sky on any given day different constellations of various sizes may be visible sometimes more than one this book a solid base for astronomy will help you what this game has parlor puzzles and astronomy and this house has a church inside of it gosh uh, happy to easily identify constellations. Impress your friends and discover the joy of stargazing. <laughs> North Star plus one gold. Oh gosh. Uh, two trunks have been added to the entrance hall. The slice plus three steps. Okay, so if it's one, if, if there's a single star. Oh, each time you go into the observatory, you add a star to it. Is that what that means? So the first time you go here, you get a gold. Second time you go here. Two trunks are added to the entrance hall. Or can you just like open those and get something? Third time you get more steps. Diamondus Minor. Um, plus one gem. Rooms with four doors are more common today. Oh gosh, what is? There's no six. They skipped six. Farmers apple. apples are extra delicious. Clavis the key. Die five gems. Draxus the dead. Dead end rooms are more. Co oh, that, or, that's no good. The sale. Everything is fifty percent off. Florialis. <laughs> Green rooms are more likely to contain special quote unquote flowers. What is this? I don't know what's happening. Uh, should we go up or should we use the the thing? How do we use this? Hold on. Gonna... Yes! Oh wait, we have a star in the top left. What does that mean? We can just... What am I doing? <gasps> Do I just have to spin this? Gosh, well... I guess I have to spin it so it faces outside, right? Oh gosh, what am I doing? That's that's definitely too low. <laughs> Wait, do I? Gosh, go that go up. <laughs> we need you to go up. 
that good enough? Okay. Can we jump down? Oh, you can't fall. Oh, this game has fall damage. Yeah. Uh, can we spin you? Oh, it's not high enough. Right. Uh, up higher. <laughs> Wait, we can't bring it up more? Oh, it's because it's hitting the wall. <laughs> Oh man, uh, go higher. Man, game has real physics. Now we can look outside. Yes, there's a single star. North star, gain one gold. We did all this just to get a single gold piece. <laughs> that was so much effort. I guess we just go back. <laughs> Blueprint. Dining room. Or guest bedroom. Courtyard. Okay, so if you look at the lower left map. Courtyard does not help. It just brings us to the hallway. Dining room opens a new path, but that's also the path that entrance hall leads us to. Guest bedroom gives us more steps. I guess I guess we take guest bedroom. And courtyard doesn't do anything. Like we, we, we need steps, because no matter what, we get access to this room. Did I have to come in here, actually? Actually... Probably should just check things. Sinclair, just wanted to write you a quick note thanking you for the weekend. I had a thrilling time on the hunt with Lord Evanson. His peculiar personality somewhat made up for your own absence. Uh, I also forgot to appreciate your new game in the billiard room. It's been ages since I've seen the billiard room in the house. I was beginning to suspect you retired the floor plan. It was well worth the wait, as I always enjoy your mathematical puzzles and appreciated that I didn't need to know the rules or point values to play your variation. Billiard room has a math game. Oh, dice. Can I take this? Ivory dice. While drafting, you may use dice to roll new floor plans. Basketball. A little, little puppy. We can't just sleep in here. We're not allowed to. Oh, it's the constellation. Okay, we'll leave. We got some we got some fuzzy dice yeah we have to because we don't have a key we can't go through a spare bedroom or that place so we have to go all the way back to the entrance hall oh geez <laughs> yeah yeah we didn't need to like we could cut down on a few steps eh it's fine Where's the fast travel? Actually, can you fast travel? Wait. Wait, there's a room directory? What is this? I just clicked on something. Oh, that's... Okay, there are blue rooms, 1 through 12. Also rooms. So when are you... When you... Room 46. This is where we're trying to go. Rarity rumored? Oh, jeez. Mysterious room mentioned in the will, named only by a number. Despite the house's official blueprint only showing total 45 rooms. Man, maybe it's in the basement. Uh, there's a, apparently a 46th room in the house that exists. Finding the room is your primary objective. Okay. Observatory is cool. Crafted one time. Rarity is standard. Okay, you can see how rare these are. Uh, from its Latin origin, the room before... All signs and paths point toward the antechamber. Mysterious and sealed room resting on the ninth rank may prove, however, quite an initial challenge to even reach. Yeah, it's a difficult to get there. I mean, presumably this the top door of the antechamber. There's bedrooms. There's eight different bedrooms, and hallways are useful. They just branch out. Green rooms haven't done any. There are shops, red rooms. The red room. So red rooms have like negative effects, it seems. 
Whenever you enter the chapel, you just lose money, but it branches, so it's kind of kind of nice. Okay, now we're now we're back in the entrance hall. Oh man, how's your day going, C Tech? I hope you're I hope you're doing well. We got the Queen of Diamonds, and yeah, okay, we'll just this way, the drawing room. You're writing string parsing. Like what type of string? Like are you working with like yarn? Like is it synthetic string or <laughs> JSON? Okay. Um Drawing Room gives us options. Which options are nice? Code check. Retrieve one item or check an item, retrieve it on another day. You can store something, but it's also a dead end. Who needs money? We don't... We need to... Who needs money? We'll go in the drawing room. We'll spend one gem to learn the value of art. Here's the thing. Drawing floor plans. Each time you click on a door, you will draw three floor plans, from which you may select one to draft. There are some items or rooms that will allow you to redraw if you do not like your initial three options. So this room lets you redraw, which makes sense because it's the drawing room. Dude, it's our grandpa! In before someone says that it's actually my uncle because I'm their nephew, but it's fine. Drawing room. Check this out. Office! Wait, so we can read. Can we redraw infinitely? I mean, on a storeroom in the corner of the map seems okay. Because we get a key. We need a key, right? Gem is good. We don't have enough opportunity to earn money. We can't we can't use this because we don't have enough gems. Breaker box. Yeah, we'll take the storeroom. Whoa! A giant picture of a 10 tag. And all the all these chess pieces. Money. Any anything else? It's a little oh, this this game's so cool. Jason, I haven't worked with Jason in years. Well I guess we should check out this way first because we can redraw. Kitchen boudoir dining room. Okay, so this, I don't know if I don't know if I like it. So entrance hall gives us access to this room no matter what. Which means technically we don't need the dining room. Yeah, it's kind of like Betrayal at House on the Hill. It's it like it has that board game vibe, which is cool. We're trying to presumably get to this room. <laughs> Do we want dining room? Daniel, uh, we'll, we'll redraw. Maybe I just, I might have just murdered myself. Oof. Um, pantry. <laughs> yeah, so if we can get to the room 46, we get the house. <laughs> Otherwise, we don't. When you draft our bedroom, gain steps. Okay, we, we might actually need steps, unless I end up dying. But we do have a key, so we can get back to spare bedroom. Or back to spare room. We'll take the nursery, sure, why not? Costs one gem, but we can check it. Is there anything in here? Oh, I might as well check it out. Like, we waste a step going in here, but there could be... So we'll take the star. It's the Pixar ball. Onk. Wait, you're telling me that kids live in this house? They have a Rubik's Cube? Anything here? Money! Yes! A book? The little prince? Is that us? Is this the blue prince? No, this is the red prince. It's not a pun. <laughs> By Mary and Marigold. There was a red prince who sat on a red throne. He had a red crown made of rubies. That's not a red crown. That's a yellow crown. And a red castle made of stone. The prince had a love for all things red. It's the only true color, the prince often said. <laughs> Loves lobster. Wait, but that's a cooked lobster. Not a normal lobster. Wait, that's it? That's the entirety of the book? Oh, I, okay. He cannot stand the sight of a canary or a crow. He cannot stand the white of a swan in the snow. 
Red Prince is racist, confirmed. He never looked up for figure of the view. He had heard that the sky was not a red hue. So he always had a book to turn his eyes down. If he, were, as, if he was ever outside when the clouds weren't around. And do you know which book the prince always had? The one that made him happy whenever we, he was sad? The story he had read in the bath in the bed. And maybe you can guess with the clues that we have said. Is in this book? It was a story of a boy who also wore red. And he looked like our prince from his toes to his head. And... As you, my reader, might already assume, this book is quite near you, in fact, in the same room. Story about you, if it needs to be said, about a red prince and his book. The red book we just read. Wait, we're the red prince? The red prince of Bel-Air? It's, it's, yeah, it's like, um, oh, we can't open the drawer. We can't take the book with us either. Yeah, so, it's a roguelike... Also, okay, which is awesome. Okay, so we'll go through entrance hall. We did pick up a key, which is helpful. Oh, oh, this is bad. We could redraw floor plans. We could take closet to get items. I don't want to use our last gem on a commissary. And money doesn't do anything for us unless we have a store. We could redraw to hopefully get a straight. Or else our only way out of here is to go through spare room. Which we could get- Okay, we're gonna redraw real quick. We're gonna use one of our- The passageway! Wait, this is the same problem! Because we don't have enough gems for passageway. <laughs> this is actually just worse. Boudoir is... Be some nursery when we get a bedroom. We get five steps. You know what? I'm gonna be stupid and redraw again. Oh god. Dining room gives us a straight path. Conference room. Whenever items will be spread throughout the house, they are placed in this room instead? I mean, the, this is a dead end. I mean, that's cool. We'll take, we'll, we take dining room because it's a straight path. We did, just, we did just use both of our fuzzy dice to get this room. Yeah, so this door is dead because it links to nursery, which isn't real. And we don't have dinner yet. We haven't reached rank eight. Please don't be locked. Oh, thank goodness. Security! You inventory of all items currently in the house requires a gem. I don't know. Wait, what house has security in it? What house has a church and an observatory and security? <laughs> I mean, pantry and security, I mean, this uses a gem, but it sounds cool. <laughs> it sounds cool. We'll take it. Game over. <laughs> Cutscene? That's us. That's the Blue Prince, also known as the Red Prince when we're reading a book. Our stupid explorer's hat, like we're exploring a rainforest. Wait, so you're telling me that there's just like secret cameras hidden throughout the house and bugs? Everything's being recorded? Are we getting pranked? Is our grandfather not really dead? Is this Among Us? Are we going on cams to see if any murders happen? Yeah, you can actually just see footage of every room. This is this is a lot to deal with. I'm poking my butt. Poking my butt through the screen. <laughs> That's me! Car keys. Room, room, spare set of car keys. Uh, notepad. Blue memos are true. Red memos are lies. 
Wait, this says something. There says something on here. I can't. It says unless written by hand. I think that's what that says. That's hard to make out. I think that says unless written by hand. Red memos are lies unless they're written by hand. Oh my gosh. What is this nonsense? Do we have car keys? Any, can we? These are just empty paper. There's a coffee, <laughs> stale coffee, and a time to use JSON. Welcome to Mount Holly Security. Press enter. View state inventory. <laughs> the house has nothing. <laughs> Great. Um, key card system. Security doors or doors within the estate that can only be unlocked with an electronic key card. Key card system is operational. Um, security level. Security level determines the amount of key card security doors that will be deployed in your estate. Uh, you should expect to see one or two doors with a low setting and five or six with a high. Dude, I don't think we want security. <laughs> because that makes it harder to. I don't have a key card. What's offline mode? Offline mode locked. Uh, this mode determines the default setting the security doors will be set to if power is lost during a blackout, for example. As a general safety rule, offline mode should be set to unlocked if any staff are working on the estate. Uh, that's me. I'm staff. We're gonna. So if we turn the power off, things just turn off. Uh, back. Back. Login to network. Password. Um. That. Incorrect. No. <laughs> Is the password? <laughs> no. <laughs> I better not lock myself out. Okay. So we uh. Sad. Any. There's too much. Okay, so that's the door out, but let's... Memos! Wait, what's this? Terminal password? Wait, this is, this tells us what the password is? Staff notice. Effect of the first week of December, payroll for all the live out and seasonal staff will be managed electronically, as your tenants will no longer be registered at morning roll call. It is doubly important that you do not fail to clock in and out at one of the electronic computer terminals. Two of these terminals can be found at security um, and the laboratory. Any questions or concerns regarding this process should be directed always to house man manager, Mrs. Babbage. The terminal password S W A. I can't read the rest. Swanson, I don't know. <laughs> Swag. The password is swag. Five G's. Okay. Keycard access security doors are more likely to appear in the higher ranks of the estate. Likewise, as a redundant security measure, normal doors in the estate will also be more likely to be locked as you progress north. Uh, you need keys. Then, till further notice, the antechamber has been unlocked and access levers are no longer required to grant entry. But wait, it's a red memo. And it's not handwritten, which means this is a lie. Till further notice, the antechamber has is locked and requires access levers. You need access levers and a key. And if okay, microwave, coffee. Okay, but are there? Is there a red memo that has handwriting? So we could go back. Now nah, we're gonna. Continue through security. Oh man. We know like the first three letters of the password. Dark room. Do you not see the floor plans while drafting this room? Um we can't choose courtyard. Because we don't have any gems. We could take closet. Then that shuts off, and then we have to go all the way back up to spare room. 
Which we do have a key for spare room now, right? We could take dark room. You cannot see the floor plans while drafting this room. I, mean, I don't I don't need to though, right? Unless these count I don't know. We'll we'll take it. We'll check out the photo room. Uh power out. Well that stinks. Can we <laughs> Is there anything I can take? Is there a flashlight? Oh, is this what the breaker room's for? To turn the power back on? Just steal anything in here? Oh no, I can't see! <laughs> it doesn't say any of them require gems. Oh man, it's just luck. What is this? Yes! Pog, we got something that gives us... We got something good. We chose correctly. Ooh, pantry. Ooh, yum, apple. Gives us two steps. Money! What's this, receipt? Bridget, please pick up some more fruit before Friday, as we have just been informed that we may have an extra guest exploring the house next week. 50 steps should be more than enough, so I think an even spread would be ideal. Five apples, five, 55 apples, 55 bananas, 55 oranges. The enclosed amount should be cover expense. Um, but please bring back any change from the order and leave it in the pantry. And wait, okay, so wait, is this a math puzzle? <laughs> okay, so the apple gave us two, two steps. And so, so if there's five of them, that gives us 10 steps, which means Five bananas plus five oranges gives us 40 steps. So you can use like a, a basic system of equations to figure out what it could be, but there might be a few possibilities if you include decimals. And assuming that they don't give like the same value, who knows? Cheese grater! Lux coffee. Ghost the dark room. Yeah, so if we get the break room, does that just make the dark room easier? I wonder if there's, like, a secret in the dark room, like, a picture you need to look at, that if you activate the break room. Maid's chamber, less likely to find items lying around in your house! Wait, it's a, it's a, oh, okay, it's both a red room and a purple room. So red rooms are bad. Less likely to find items lying around in your house, because they clean up. Oh, uh, that stinks. But it's also a bedroom, which gives us more steps. Or we can get a closet, which kills us. We get two items. I don't know, I think... Continuing might be in important. Because we can't take... We'll take Maid's Chamber. I'll feel a little bit bad about it. Yeah, so it does count as a bedroom. So our nursery bonus applies. We are, our house now has maids. We can't leave. We're less likely to find items lying around. Ooh, note. The day we all dreaded has finally arrived. It's with unprecedented sadness that I inform you of the death of our benefactor, employer master, the Baron of Mount Holly, H.S. Sinclair. Any staff who have been in an interest in attending services um, may contact Mrs. Babbage for details. Following the instructions left by the Baron, effective immediately, all work at Mount Holly is suspended. All live-in staff will have one month paid leave and must vacate the premises by Friday, November 6th. So, they... Thank you. Yeah, so they just get one month of leave after the, the master of the house dies. Oh, it's the, the honk from the nursery. Okay, so it's... Please don't be locked. Oh, thank goodness. Walk-in closet. Four items? You took... We get the breaker box. Combine inventory to create new... Wait. Okay, so we could take the breaker box, but it would kill our path movement. Workshop sounds cool. I could be Da Vinci <laughs> if I just go here. Uh, we can't choose this squeeze. I have no gems. We take we take workshop. That sounds neat. We'd have nothing to combine. All we have are car keys. Ooh, clock. And it's less likely we find items because we have maids in this house. E. Wait, <laughs> no. Music. 
Stones cut by hand and letters wrought do spell our secrets card from thought. A message read is often lost among the bold words spoken soft. The note is read, the letter is not... E. We get a chisel? Broken lever. Ooh. Oh wait, because we need we need levers for the the antechamber. Wait. Combine inventory, create new items. We can combine broken lever plus something else. Okay, we cannot combine our car keys into anything. We need broken lever plus a duct tape. <laughs> okay, so this is E. Hold on. Okay, so when we were in corridor, see that little like blueprint thing? There was a, the corridor, the blueprint thing indicated that the corridor room had an E on it. <laughs> Does this mean anything? Stones cut by hand and letters rot. Do spell secrets carved from thought. A message <laughs> read is often lost. Among the bold words spoken soft. Among the bold words. Message is the bold word. Uh, the note is read. The letter is not. The note is read. The letter is not. E? <laughs> what is this? What is this puzzle game? Letters rot. Do spell our secrets carved from thought. E. <laughs> A message read is often lost. Among the bold words spoken soft. The note is read, the letter is not. Among the words, among the bold words, but there's only one bold word. The, the only bold word is message, unless there's more, unless there's more of these. The note is read, the letter is out. So we don't read the letter. We don't read the letter E. Massage. <laughs> That's not how this works. I don't know. We can't pick this up. Oh, I'm, we'll just continue. We have part of a lever, but we can't do anything with it. I guess we just go. <laughs> no, no, no. I need my key. Okay. I need my key for spare room. How many steps is it gonna take to get back there? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen steps to get back to spare room. Oh jeez. If it gives me a dead end, then I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going through travel takes away one of my money. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about breadth first search and then depth first search, but then I just <laughs> went straight one way. Yeah, we, we did depth first search, I think. We just went one way and stuck with it. Um, We could use the key here, but we could- it's a lot easier to get stuck here than it is to get stuck there. Okay, we're- we're we're making a run back. Ah, jeez. We're in the dark room. Yeah, I don't know if there's any cool secrets in here. Okay, so now that we're back here, I can just check the terminal just to see if I missed anything. Um, because we can view a state inventory. Okay, I didn't I did not miss anything. Because I could check that just to see if the, like, the dark room had anything that I missed. Oh, here's the dining room. Okay. If we make it to rank 8, we can get dinner. I don't know how useful dinner is. <laughs> uh, can't go that way. Here's the nook. Yeah, you get one key from the nook, which is cool. Here's the observatory. We lose one money for going in here. Like, you could use a key on this door. But like it's 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 not worth I don't think because okay because workshop requires a key to go here which means that this room requires a key and if this room also requires a key then once you go in here you're stuck parlor game okay so we just <laughs> we're at twenty steps 
Man, imagine if I hadn't wasted six steps in the very beginning. This better not give me a dead end. Breaker box, boudoir, commissary. Well, we have to take boudoir. <laughs> or else we're dead. Oh, but it's a bedroom, so we get five steps back. Yahoo. Synergy. Okay, this game has, like, light synergies, which is pretty cool. In the boudoir. Any, any secrets? These rooms just have notes sometimes. Anything back here? Whoa! Wait, there's actually a secret. Uh. Nope. It doesn't even tell you how how much it lights up. Like, there's no indication of how long the password is. Oh, uh, jeez. Sinka Ko. Okatoa? Okay, so the boudoir has a secret safe. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Is it easy to see? You can kind of see it from over here. I just didn't notice it. Hello? Lodi high de low. Oh, I forgot I forgot about the the Sokotota saying <laughs> I haven't used Trig in a long time. Okay, so don't require a key. No! <laughs> Well, we're dead. Uh, picture on the stand. Oh, oh, we can look at it. <laughs> you got the safe as a Christmas present. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, but what? Um, does that help at all? <laughs> Also, this room, this picture says that the, the boudoir has windows. Uh, I see, see a distinct lack of a window in this room. Hmm. Is this useful? Is there a secret number in here? Is this I spy? You can't like flip over the picture because there's nothing on the back side. I don't see like a, a secret number or anything. Is this just an indicator that there's a safe in this room? Or is it gonna be like, oh, the password for the Christmas present. And then you're like, what the heck's the Christmas present? And it's like, oh, the Christmas present's safe. Uh, I think we have to like, just leave. Uh, can I, can I get a sledgehammer somewhere? <laughs> Here's the bedroom. Yeah, this door's locked. <laughs> oh, there like is it I don't know, the security room said I didn't miss any keys, so that stinks. Um I guess yeah, we can we can call it a day. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow you awake to find the rooms of the estate as well as your current inventory has been reset. Ah jeez. <laughs> we learned stuff. That's cool. Oh man, we've got five bedrooms, a mid-sized inn. Yeah, I'm um, selling this house a five bedroom, zero bath for three million dollars. <laughs> you will need to find your own porta potty. <laughs>